Hello everybody and welcome to a new game for my channel. This one is Gleena Heights and it is a farming simulator with a twist. It's a little bit emo, a little bit gothic, a little bit almost undertale a little bit mad. Um, it's just very on the sort of darker side of things rather than on the fluffy bunny side of things. Um, the game was made by Emilios Manolod Manolodis. I can't say your name. I'm so sorry. Um, but one person made this game and uh, I always have a lot of respect for that and the sort of focus and the singleness of purpose that comes with a game like that. I think it took them two years to create as well. But anyway, let's get on with the game and uh, have a little explore. Okay, so I'm going to have a data slot of A. Now I'm going to be a girl. I'm going to be a she-lab girl. That's what I am in real life. She lab girl. Uh, you can't have purple hair in this. So I'm going to just have loads of purple clothes. I've decided. Done. My farm is going to be... I don't know why I'm going to call it this, but I am. It's going to be Deer Fen Farm. Deer Fen. I think it adds a farm for you. So, dear fern farm. Lovely. My day of birth is going to be the 8th of summer. Which may or may not have any relation to my real birthday. My previous job is going to be... I'm going to be a vet because I want to do stuff with animals. And I like men, fair enough. Appearance, yep done you can have men women or both so they have like every option that you could want appearance i'm gonna make everything purple so uh we're gonna have a ponytail hairstyle we're gonna have skin that is pale as anything looks like i've never been out in the sun because that's pretty much accurate for me uh eyebrows brown maybe hair i'm gonna go with like a nice dark blue because i can't have purple Facial hair, I have none. Shirt, I'm going to go with a nice light purple. Pants, I'm going to go with a nice dark purple. And shoes, I'm going to go with black. So there is my she-lab. She looks really good. So we need to go then back into the main menu and tell them that I am done. How exquisite the stage of life is. What delicate props it makes of us. Yet here we are, groping amidst the thorns, searching for the rose without name. I'm going to have to leave that to like scroll a bit more. It's a bit slow for my reading speed. Better than being too fast, though. That flower is terrifying. That also looks a bit undertale doesn't it? We have been here all of our lives. Remember? We've never even left this room. Is that a bit of fourth wall breaking, I sense? Looking for a miracle. A sweet sip of Chardonnay. A fleeting note of the saxophone. Alas, there is nothing to be found here. The wine has long dried, and the music is dead. The stage, the lights, the orchestra, it's all a faded dream. There is nothing to be found here. This story has been told countless times. You have been on this stage, too. Who can escape? The world is just a dream inside a head. Perhaps it is your head. There is nothing to be found here. Only... Perhaps, if you look closer. Okay, so now the weirdness is over. We're on our farm. Hooray! Good morning. You must be Shelab. It's good to meet you. I'm Otto, the mayor of Gleaner Heights. So I just... I guess Dear Fen Farm is yours now. You were working somewhere else before arriving here. A veterinary, you say. You'll be just fine with animals then. If people were that easy to. You 
must have had your reasons for abandoning what you were doing to start anew. This land was very fertile once, fields of crops as far as the eye could see. I'm sure that you will put the farm to good use and become good friends with the townsfolk. You might even settle down with someone to have a family with. <laughs> if we could all be so lucky. I should leave you to check your place. Don't worry if it seems a lot in the beginning. I'm sure you will find your way soon. You should go around the town and meet some people when you're done here. Don't be alarmed if the old fool comes knocking in the middle of the night. Sometimes his mind becomes muddled. Well, see you around, Shilab. If you want anything, just ask. I might even have some work for you. Goodbye. So it has the uh, the typical five million years worth of introduction. He's as bad as farmer fan. Okay, so here we are. We've been let loose on our farm. But first, I'm going to take you through some of the options because this is not a game where the options and things are too easy it's not a game where um, it's all very intuitive necessarily but you can make it that way okay so don't worry so to get into this particular screen you need to press your start key on your controller or you need to press I or escape on your keyboard okay and once you get in here you can turn the pages by using your back shoulder buttons or R and T on the keyboard, okay? Just to start off with. And from here you can get into the option menu, so a couple of clicks on the left back button or a couple of clicks on, on the R button on the keyboard, you can get here. And hiding right the way down the bottom, you've got all your music and your, your windowed or full screen or, you know, all of that sort of stuff. And down the bottom hiding there is the controls. So, we want to go in there so if you want your default controls you can hit F12 um, I don't think there's any controller equivalent for that so most people with a controller playing this are going to be playing on a computer and they will have the keyboard in front of them as well you can configure all of your controls or you can go through and um, just press A or space on any one of these and you can change it so the run uh, command I have changed I've customized it already to right trigger because it was set to one of the control panel one of these sort of sticks but the sticks don't need to work on this so it wasn't working very well so I configured it back to right trigger and I hope that won't be too bad because also also configured to the right trigger is the next item so I'm hoping that it will know the difference if not we may have to do some more configuring shenanigans but it should be okay so you can, as I say, go through and configure every single one of the controls or you can just go through and configure them individually. Um, you've got left, right, up and down with the arrows and W, A, S and D do also work with those. Um, and then also with previous tool and next tool and things like that, I think the mouse wheel will work as well. So just wanted to show you that. So also, you go back with the B button, or oh, we need to go back in there. You can see your inventory, you can see a little tutorial there, um, you've got your gear, you've got a little map, you've got what I think is either going to be a social um, list or it will be a list of your farmyard animals. I'm not sure which that is going to be yet because I haven't had anything fill in there. You've got your levels, you've got your stats, which interestingly you have a sin meter, so I'm going to be very interested to see that, what that's all about. And then you're back to options again. So we'll go through these topics. So with your basics, you can throw items that can be sold in your shipping box outside your house. I'm not sure how to throw items yet. I, I will try and work that out. I've never had a harvest yet. I've done a bit of playtesting, but not as far as a harvest. So next page. Use the TV to learn about the next day's weather. Use your storage trunk to store tools and items. Use the crafting bench in your workshop to craft things you've learned about. So I'll take you on a little tour around the farm as well in a second. Uh, using tools reduces stamina, which can be refilled by consuming food or drinks or by sleeping. Depleting stamina will make you exhausted, halving your maximum stamina the next day. So you need to always leave a little bit of stamina. 
which I, which for me is always annoying because I'm always accidentally pressing buttons and depleting my stamina, which is a pain. Um, skills improve, and enemy mine loot drops only when stamina isn't zero. So you're not going to improve any skills if your stamina is zero. You may as well go to bed at that point. Use your bathtub or your shower to skip time. So you can go have a shower and you skip some time. Okay, so that's all the basics. Farming. So use the hammer, axe or sickle to clear your farm from debris. Bigger objects require upgraded tools. Use the hoe to till your farm. Plant seeds in the tilled land or water them every day. When it rains, plants don't need watering. Use the watering hole to refill your can. Some plants yield crops more than once and freshly planted seeds may be washed away by the rain. So you don't want to plant on a rainy day. I tried planting some seeds on a rainy day just to see what would happen in my playtest and they all washed away. Every single one of them. So maybe it actually will be. Use your sickle to cut down plants. Fully grown grass can be cut for animal fodder. Use your hammer on fences to destroy them or on tilled squares and newly planted seeds or grass to flatten the land again. Lovely. So animals. When inside, animals must be fed with their respective food. Drop fences on your farm to create secure perimeters. Poultry is always fed when outside, but if not fenced, may be snatched by wild animals. Large animals like cows need fully grown grass when outside to feed. If kept within fences, grass must exist within the enclosed area for them to feed. Fair enough. Baby animals need to be fed to grow and give produce. I don't know whether that means hand feeding or just food to be available. Bad weather hurts animals' moods and health, and storms may blow away poultry when outside. Animals will give produce when in a good mood, except for sheep, so we need to keep the animals in at night. And it's really important. So that's like a... According to Avak, that's a real harvest moon thing, because I was explaining that to him earlier. Feed your animals every day. Pick up the small ones or talk to the large ones and brush them if they need to, to improve their mood and raise their affection. Horses don't need to be fed. Animals in a bad mood may become sick. Untreated sickness may lead to death. So if my cow goes green, I have to get medicine or the cow may die. When next to a large animal, hold interact and move to lead them around. Oh, cool. So I might need to read through a bit of that uh, once I actually get animals because I'll probably have forgotten it all by then. So we're at 6.44 in the morning still. I've taken the first 12 minutes explaining all that to you, but I hope that that will help any of you that are struggling at all with this. So. I'm actually not going to do anything on my farm yet. I'm going to go and get some seeds. Oh, look, there's some kids. In fact, I could run. Yes, we can run. Really fast. Um, I want to go into the town, actually. So this is actually down this way. And down this way. So this here is the blacksmith's house. So we can pop in and see him. And you can see, to get through the doors, you just look for these little bits of light on the floor. So it can be a little tricky, but you get through the doorways like that. See, so don't worry if you think, oh my goodness, there's just a wall there I can't get through. You can. So Lazarus. Oh, hi, you must be Shelab. It's nice to meet you. I'm Lazarus. Everyone here refers to me as the blacksmith. But after bending iron for so many years, even calling me old man would be a welcome change. Heh. <coughs> If you need to upgrade a tool, drop by at the forge, and I will take care of it. Cool. I thought there was going to be more then, like, take care of it for you. So that was why the inflection on my voice was all wrong there. I do find that that scrolls a little slow for me. Okay, let's run. It doesn't seem to take st stamina to run, so I'm going to run everywhere. I haven't actually been in this building before, so... Oh no, it's locked. Okay, that's probably why. I can jump over fences. Nice to know. Also, if I stand still and hold... Oh, it did make me roll, yeah. But if I just hold down the uh, the right trigger, it gives me a little roll, which... Um, oh, it's used a bit of stamina, so I've got to be careful with that. Hello, old man. Doctor. Hmm, haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Are you the new owner of the farm? Aren't you a bit young to play farmer? But then again, pretty much everyone looks too young to me. <laughs> I'm Herbert, the town's doctor. If you catch a cold or get dismembered, come see me. I can stitch pretty much everything back. <laughs> Thanks, Herbert. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, okay, it seems like I've ended up at the back of this street and I don't think I'll be... I think I have to go all the way around now. 
There's a door at the at that roof. I wonder if I can get down there, get up onto the roof. There's some stairs up there as well, which should go up to an upper level, I think. Okay, so there's a kind of that playground looks very old and rusty, doesn't it? That's a shame. There's nowhere for the kids to play. But this is the they've got the hospital here. Which is locked at the moment, probably because Herbert is out. So when Herbert is in, I imagine we'll be able to go in there. This is the sh the, sh the prison or sheriff's place, I guess. That's locked at the back there. So we'll have a chat to the sheriff. So Gabriel is the sheriff. Hello and welcome to our town. My name is Gabriel. If anything or anyone gives you a hard time, you let me know, all right? And there's a heart there, which may be a romantic interest, possibly. Either that or... Let me just see in here whether the... No, name and affection isn't really showing up yet. So I don't know if that's a social list. I say, I'm, I'm working this game out the same as, uh, as everyone else, I guess. Okay, we'll pop in here, shall we? Pennies, which I think is uh, a bar. So hello, Penny. Hello, what would you like to buy? So if you want to talk to people, you have to go up behind them and talk to them. It's kind of a bit Stardew Valley-like in that regard. I don't know if it's Harvest Moon-like, but um, across the counter you will buy things and if you talk to them behind the counter, then they will be having a personal conversation with you. So you can get croissant, eggs and bacon, lemonade, pie, hamburger, all these things will up your stamina. <clears throat> okay, so anybody else around? No. I wonder if I can jump the counter. It seemed to be able to. Okay, cool. So I'll maybe catch you later, Penny. So if we pop in here, I think this is the general store. So this is probably the last stop I'll make. Oh, hi, Maya. Hello, Sheila. I trust things are going smoothly with your farm. Yeah, they're fine, thanks. So we'll pop in here and this is the general store. So there's someone over here we can chat to. Regina, oh hi, how are you? Um, who are you exactly? Oh, all right, Shelab, I'm Regina. My brother Gary and I have the small farm near the cemetery. Welcome to Gleena Heights. The cemetery? We'll have to check that out later. Is that the mayor again? He came in here, didn't he? Hi, Shelab, Mr. Ling brings new things each season. Make sure to check with him often. Okay, so we'll have new seeds and things at the beginning of the season. So we'll have a chat to you. Who are you? That's Mai. Hello, you're Miss Sheila, right? I'm Mai Ling. I help my father run the general store. Anything you need for your farm, drop by. We're open every day except Sunday from 8am to 4pm. Cool. Good to know. Actually, we'll chat to her father from behind the counter. Jun. Greetings, I'm Jun Ling. I run the general store. If you need plant seeds for your farm, come see me. I sell lots of other things too. So if we go around the front of the counter here... We can have a chat. Hello, what would you like to buy? So I would like to buy some seeds for my farm. Um, I would like to buy some carrot seeds. Oh, I don't want to just buy one. I'll buy 11 because I've already bought one. Oops. So I'll buy 11 of them. And then we'll buy some cucumber seeds maybe. Or we'll buy 12 of those. And we'll buy some lettuce seeds and 12 of those. And we'll see what we can do with that. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, no. Okay, well, 12 of each should be fine. I've bought expensive seeds in the hopes that, like, they'll give me a better profit. I don't know if that's always going to be the case. So we'll just run all the way home. I don't see a reason not to run. Now then, where's our house? Is it up this way? Yes. I know which one's mine because it's all messy and full of weeds. So we've used a tiny bit of stamina already. So what I want now is a kind of clear-ish row that I can till. Um, I want to I want to sew in stripes going down. So, oh, no, I'm using stamina by doing that. Okay, so if I 
use my X button, I can just start hoeing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's an axe. Oops. Eleven, twelve. And then I'll do the same. I'll go across two. And I'll do the same. I'll just get my sickle and just get rid of all the ones that are going to be in the way there, all the weeds that are going to be in the way, but I don't want to go too mad with that because you don't actually get anything for clearing weeds, you don't actually get to pick up the weed and sell it, because who would want to buy that, you know? So we'll just go down here and make another 12, and then we're going to need to water, we're going to need to plant and water. I hope we have enough stamina to do this. I think you should have enough for two strips on the first day. Okay, so I'm going to need my seeds now, so if I pop into my inventory and I can put these seeds onto my hotbar. Is it item? Oh no, they're not items. Okay, they count as tools. Seeds count as tools, so that's fine. So I'll swap that one with the hammer and I'll swap that one with the axe because I don't need that directly for planting. And then I'm going to swap my watering can over with my sickle, just so I've got everything that I need. So let's get the carrot seeds first and we'll start planting those. That one was a little bit too far. Hopefully I've got I've done enough. Uh, I might have to add an extra tilled space at the end. If I haven't done enough. No, I have done enough, so that's fine. So let's go and plant all the cucumber seeds. And just to remind you on the controller, this is X and then whatever key you've key binded on the keyboard. I'm sure you won't leave it as C or whatever it is. But if you ever struggle, just pop back into your main menu and go and have a look at the controls. Okay, so now I need my watering can. And over here, past, this is the, the barn. And there's like a workshop up there. I think that's my workshop, my stables, everything like that. So these are, buildings are already made. But there is a carpenter's to do reven renovations. So if I just press X there with my watering can, active then that all fills up from my watering hole I maybe should have uh, actually planned this better and made these by the watering hole that would have been the smart thing to do but I'm she lab I don't do the smart thing I'm just gonna water as much of these as we can and hope that my stamina doesn't completely drain because I don't want my stamina to completely drain by the end of the day because if it does that then I end up with half stamina the next day and that is rubbish we don't want that so d this day has been a little bit long um because i spent all that time explaining all the controls but as i say i do feel that this game it took me a little while to work out the controls myself which means that there might be people even if you're sort of some amazing person that gets the hang of that sort of thing really easily there's going to be someone else out there that doesn't and is like me and takes a little while so I would prefer to explain it and then everyone knows how everything works. So there we are, our first little crop has been done. We still have a little bit of stamina left, but I'm happy just to leave that for accidents. Accidents happen a lot. So I think we should run up here and have a little look. Who are you? Agent. We got like FBI agents. Oh. Mashila by a special agent, Deacon Trupal. I love his name. Deacon Trupal. Welcome to the town. I won't bother you with any questions, since you're new here. So I wonder what he's investigating. But if you see anything out of the ordinary, let me know. Okay, Mr. Trupal. I'm gonna follow you. I expect I'm faster than you. Oh, who's that? Hello. Who are you? Tobias. Hmm. Hmm. Never seen you before. Who are you? She-Lab. What kind of name is that? Are you 
One of them? No, you're too young. Who's, who's them? Who's one of them? Is it a cult? I don't know. Mysterious. Spring is the best season for water dousing and landmine laying. Beware of leprechauns, though. They will steal your underwear. <laughs> okay. I guess I found the person that will come knocking in the night. So let's see what's up here, shall we? Who are you? Hello. Lee. Hey, how are you doing? I'm Lee. You're the new gal. You can make some good coin in Gleaner Kites if you know how things work around here. We should go fishing together someday. I'm a lot into fishing, so Lee is the one to help into... I'm a lot into many things, teehee. You, rude boy. Okay. So, we have found the hotel. With the not at all creepy looking hotel owner, I think. Joshua. Oh, hello, madam. How was your breakfast today? Did you enjoy the view from your room? Wait a minute. You're not one of my guests. Oh, of course. You're Deer Fen Farm's new owner. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Joshua Thorne, owner of the Green Pine Lodge. I see the farm is in good hands now. No, don't give me that look. I know an enterprising spirit when I see one. Okay, cool. Uh, usually they have two different uh, dialogue options each day, so I'll try the second one. My younger brother comes to see me every now and then. Last time he brought with him some venison burgers. Mmm, tastiest thing ever. I've never had venison burgers, so I would not know. Oh, hello. You must find the lodge a quite impressive place. But sometimes impressive places contain hollow people. Wow. Okay. Okay, so there's no more dialogue options for you. That's fine. So we're going to have a check around this place. Have a little look about. This looks like... It looks like a creepy hotel. I don't think it's impressive. I think it's creepy. Can't do much at the desk. I'm trying to just interact with the desk a bit. Let's go up the stairs, shall we? And have a look around. Oh. These are probably all locked, yeah. Locked. 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 Why does that one have no mat? It's not locked either. It's just, it's like, it's barricaded. Okay. Mystery number one there. Ah, oh, this one's unlocked. Cool. It's like a, like a desk or something. Okay. Anything I can interact with in here? No. It's a window, that's a yeah, it's a balcony window or something. Um yeah, I, I I'm terrible for nosing around people's places. Ooh. I have no idea what the safe combination is. Which says to me that I can find out what the safe combination is one day. Hmm. Oops. This hotel reminds me of One Shot. There was loads of hotels in One Shot for some reason. Okay, let's go downstairs because there's nothing more to see in here, I don't believe. I've got lots of time to look around the place though. What's this down here? I don't know what that is. Yes, I'll never know. Sometimes pixel graphics uh, do boggle me as to what things are. I once confused a piece of cheese for a hat in uh, Undertale, I believe. Anyway. Let's carry on down this way. Let's run, because running is cool. See, interact with items is why. But I can't interact with that. There seems to be a flower on the floor. Unless I can use my scythe or my hammer or something like that on it. I don't know how much you can interact with um, things outside. We'll see maybe if we could chop down a tree or something. 
cut tree stumps for lumber? I don't know, actually, whether I'm able to... There, I've got my axe now. No, it looks like there's no cutting down of trees or anything like that outside. Okay, so let's pop down the stairs here. Ooh, it looks like we have a special cave. Um, possibly once I get a hammer that's capable of doing something to that rock, getting rid of that rock, I will probably be able to get in there. Which does kind of suggest to me that at least some things in this uh, outside area of my outside of my farm can be interacted with. Possibly even these boulders. We don't have any kind of hammer yet. We've got a hoe, an axe. Oh, we do have a pickaxe. Oh, stop doing that, Shilab. Seriously. Oh, do we have a pickaxe? No, we've got a hammer. We do have a hammer for breaking stones. Okay, so let's get the hammer out and see if we can break these stones at all. No. They are possibly too big. We could try the smaller stone. No. So I may need an upgraded hammer to be able to do that. Ooh, mine entrance. It's very dark in here. Um, there's no helpful man telling me what to do. The miner's guild forewarns. There is aught to be gained from the miner who becomes physically exhausted. Surely should be naught to be gained. I don't know. Let's go in here. This is well creepy. So what can we do in here? Anything? Will we get beaten up? I don't know. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, I don't like it. Can I pick stuff up? Interact with these mushrooms or anything? Can I use my sickle on them? Let's get my sickle out. I don't think I'm ready to be in here, you know. It sounds... it's very creepy. I'm not going to need my watering can in here, so let's try my sickle and see if I can, like, sickle any of these. Nope. Let's see if I can bash anything. Can I bash? Nope. Okay, I can bash the walls. And then I'll get a stone. Can I pick that up? Got to be a bit careful now because I'm going to end up... Can I use it? No. Can I pick it up? Interact doesn't seem to be... Oh, no. All right. If I interact, I can pick it up. Interesting. Okay. So I have an item. Iron. The backbone of every sturdy construction. Oh, okay. So I can come in here, I can bash the walls, and then I end up with iron. Okay, cool. Can I bash another wall, maybe? See what I can find? Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Okay. Can I literally only pick one thing up at a time? Can I just put that into my inventory? Yes, <laughs> that's better. Let's see what I can find now. Nothing. Okay. I need to. I need to come out of here before I run out of stamina. So I'm going to just uh, pop out again. Go up. So that was pretty cool. I got some iron. I got one piece of iron from the mines. I imagine that I can, at some point, upgrade. I can see the blacksmith maybe and do an upgrade.
Okay, so let's run home and go and have a sleep because that has been a very long first day. We're still on the first day of spring. I've done so much stuff. Who are you? I haven't met you before. Oh yeah, I have. It was Gabriel. Be careful, Shelab. Some places out of town aren't all that safe. Okay. Thank you for the warning. I imagine the mines. They seemed really spooky. Now, it said that I can chop tree stumps. I'm going to just try it quickly. Okay, I don't think so. I don't want all my stamina going the next day. I want to have stamina, so... There's just... I did water all my crops, didn't I? I think I did. Right, time for bed, I think. It's only five o'clock. But uh, I think it's time for bed. I think we need to get a harvest of crops pretty soon. Can I use the sink? We can have a look at tomorrow's weather. Hello, this is tomorrow's weather. Tomorrow will be a sunny spring day. A perfect day to be outdoors. Okay, well, I think with that, we are going to go to sleep. And I think that's going to be the end of the episode for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed having a little look at this game. So we've... Um, run around the town, we've met quite a few people, we've met a mysterious secret agent and a creepy hotel guy and we've planted some crops and we've been in the mines and we found some iron and we worked out how the mines work and we've worked out all the controls of the game. So I think we've done quite a lot for one episode so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then please leave me a like below and if you'd like to see more then please subscribe, I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.